aprovechar pues para que haya. Ya ves que no hay de nada. Déjalo subo a la página. Sube la bola. Good evening, my name is Tom, and it's my honor, as father of the bride, to say a few words, and since I have to pay for this anyway, I will. I was going to use my big phone for my speech, but my grandson Matthew said, Papa, no, use paper because people will think you're checking your Powerball tickets. Sunday, November 22nd, 1987, I remember it well. The Bears were playing Detroit at noon and I sure hoped I wouldn't miss it. My life changed forever that day. Having three boys already, I was a seasoned dad, no sweat. The birth went fine, and man, I was glad because game time was nearing. So, as mom and I were strolling the hospital hallway, waiting for a wheelchair, mom kind of misstepped and felt dizzy for a second. Being the caring husband, I say, hey, don't say anything, or they won't let you leave. I convinced myself she couldn't wait to get home and out of the hospital so she could take care of our three boys, a new baby, just after giving birth. Right? Scoop. I publicly have to say how insensitive and selfish I was to you as a woman and a mom, and to thank you for bringing us the most precious little girl into our family. Matt. Don't ever make the mistake of not putting your wife's needs first. As I said, my life changed forever that day. Girls are rare in our family. I have three brothers and she has four. So it was going to be special. I just didn't know how special. But Amberly, having three older brothers, I was sure that I'd had the help I needed to raise you. Your oldest brother, TJ, helped with monitoring proper school attire, and he enforced it. Matt was the experienced caretaker. He rocked and held you often. And of course, Lucas was the perfect ballet dance partner. I've forgotten, really, how old I am, since every time I pointed a camera at you, you sang, Happy Birthday, Daddy! Your brothers couldn't have had a better sister. You allowed them to transform your Barbie dream house into a Ninja Turtle hideout, a G.I. Joe base, a Hot Wheels garage, and a zillion other pretend adventures. When Amberly was four years old, it was Valentine's Day, and I wanted to get her something extra special. So I got her a Vermont teddy bear, a full-size Snow White bear with a red bow. It was like my size. It was enormous. Of course, I got her brother's candy and regular-sized teddy bears. Oh, my, her brothers were quite upset that her bear was so much bigger and better. They had a lesson to learn that day, that daughters are special and precious. A tough lesson for young boys, but our son TJ has learned it well. And our son Lucas, I know you're ready for my love. She'll be here any day. Amberly, your beautiful maid imbues a nature-loving spirit. Watching you grow up with theater, singing, music, and soccer as your main pursuits was quite rewarding as your parents. You are so talented. Your mom and I are proud of the loving, teaching, sharing person you are to your family, and especially for being a world-class aunt to your nieces and nephews. Matt, I guess it's your turn. After 10 years, I really feel I've learned a lot about you. Well, basically just never to talk politics with you. Since you are family now, you are entitled to some family secrets. I bet my family is really scared right now. 
my wonderful father-in-law, Joe, who should I say was family connected, passed on a list to me. And since I like tradition, you get a list. Joe also had one daughter. He was a total Robert De Niro stand-in. You know the look. Are you looking at me? You better not be looking at me, if you know what I mean. We had an understanding. Everything that's hers is hers, and everything that's mine is hers. I embraced what he taught me. He gave me two missions on his list. Take excellent care of his outdoor 20 by 40 pool for the rest of my life, and cherish his daughter and love her for the rest of my life. In that order. I'm kidding. I'm proud of you, Matt. And so happy to welcome both our families together. And since I know how much you love my daughter, I have only one item on your list. And that is that you cherish my daughter, comfort and protect her, and love her for the rest of her life. I know you will. A toast to Matt and Amber. Congratulations. The first 10 years is the breaking period. Now you can really enjoy loving and sharing all that life has to offer you both for the rest of your lives. Congratulations.